Mr. Darley, we're going to talk in English, which I know is not your language, but I'm sure you're going to manage one of them. Uh, yes, uh, my English uh, remain very, very problematic, but uh, this is not so important because si somebody catch only a little piece of my ideas, this is absolutely sufficient because Dalinian ideas possess one tremendous power of germination. Well, I quite see that. And also I would beg of you to speak and speak ceaselessly, even if you don't speak in English, because I'm always accused of speaking and I want to speak as little as possible, otherwise I shall be torn limb from limb. The first question that I wanted to put you, it really ought to be about modern art, but I can't help it. There's some delicious frivolity in you which makes me ask it is, how did you manage to produce those marvelous moustaches? Uh, in the beginning of uh, this moustache, is one very natural product, the uh, like death, mm. you know, the like fruit. I know. In the last moment of dinner, uh, not clean my finger. Yes. Only put a little in my moustache, remain for all afternoon, very, uh, very efficient, efficient, efficiently. Mm. Well, and but that's how it began. Yes, me now is one real product, very good, in the Place Vendôme, is Hungarian wax. Oh, yes. Pinot. It's and very well known. Wax is already Proust. Marcel Proust is the same. Yes, but his was a little pointed one, wasn't it? It didn't have a splendid up uh, turn yes, like yours. Yes, is this uh, wax, may is this wax in one other manner, in one other mood, in one depressing psychosis uh, way. Yes, you know, I see. A little depressing and melancholic. Mm. Uh, my moustache, contrarily, is very gay, very, very gay. pointed, very aggressive. Aggressive. Do you have any trouble with it at night? I mean, do you have to peg it or anything like that, or does it stand up at night? No, in the night, uh, clean every night. Mm. They come in soft, uh, sleep. So uh, at uh, night it droops down while you're sleeping. Completely, completely. And then in the morning, up she goes again. Three minutes. Only in three minutes, fix my moustache. And then you feel you can face the world with that one form of moustache standing up. Yes, because uh, every day becoming much more practical for my inspiration. But I'm so fascinated yeah. to know that. Mr. Dolly, you come over, haven't you, to paint a portrait of Laurence Olivier? Yes, exactly. Yes, How's it going? It's uh, very good, very good. Only work 15 minutes is almost complete. You did the whole thing in 15 minutes? Uh, Sir Laurence, uh, take two hours for put the makeup, the nose, everything. Mm. And mm. myself, in 15 minutes, uh, accomplish uh, the portrait. Mm. Now it's necessary only realization of this mm. This is perhaps one it, month. But it's effective. Everything, everything is in my mean, very clear and mm. very violent. Is it going to be a, um, a what we would regard perhaps in our old-fashioned way as a somewhat eccentric picture? Is it going to have lobsters and things like that in it, or is it just going, is it going to be like him? This uh, portrait, in my opinion, is perhaps one of the most sensational. It's not possible to talk nothing in advance because everything is possible to happen in my life. And nobody looked at this portrait before it's completely finished. But in your this mind... This is my condition for mm -hmm. the start of this portrait. Also, no like it paint uh, the legend, historical, you know, the legend of Shakespeare. No like it paint the historical people. No like it paint Sir Laurence Olivier. No like it paint this character in the film, like it produce one integral and complete Dalinian portrait. Good, well, we shall all look forward to seeing it. He is, I believe, in the costume of this film, Richard III, in which he's appearing, isn't he? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Do you bring that out, the costume? No, ticking knots is sufficient, it's like mm. a very much one animal mm. in the center of... Comment ça s'appelle en anglais, le sanglier. The sanglier, the blood, you mean, the spirit? No, 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 the sanglier, this animal avec... Uh, oh, the sanglier. sanglier the, 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 what the hell is uh, sanglier? Uh, rhinoceros, is it? Oh, it's a little design. A little tiny uh, thing. What's it like? Describe it. C'est le, 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 uh, uh, c'est un porc avec des longs dents. Oui, 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 oui. c'est un boar. C'est un boar, c'est un boar. C'est le, le totem, c'est exactement le totem of Richard. The, yes, so it's, uh, that Sir Lawrence and Richard III will be both resemble 
this delicious animal with the teeth. So exactly, it's one big color in enamel, gold enamel, mm. and precious stones in the center mm. uh, representing the totem of mm. this. I animal. can't wait to see it. When should we have Very it? Very aggressive mm. animal, you know. Very I know, I know, I know, I know. Yes. Mr. Dolly, who, apart from yourself, would you regard as a good portrait painter today? Uh, myself believe there's no exist one who? in modern time. Nobody at all. Have you ever Picasso seen... Picasso is the only uh, possible create extraordinary good portraits. May not like it, this kind of activity. Augustus John, do you like... Have you ever seen any of his portraits? Uh, it's a very big ability in the drawing. Mm. Very good draftsmanship in mm. the drawing, but the painting appears to me the same characteristics of the other English painters, you know, very dirty and very melancholy, sad and depressing, mm. very depressing. You feel that our art as a whole suffers from an undue excess of melancholy, really, much melancholy. I noticed you'd been to see some exhibition and there was a donkey there in it. And yes, you uh, just uh, in the, uh, can talk about this melancholy. Remember this exhibit. Every w of one of these is very young uh, British painters. Everyone paint the more sad and melancholy kind of animals, fish, people, houses. All Everything this. very dirty also. Only the more dirty colors and the more depressing effects. Now, why do you think that is? Why should they all be so sad? Why should they paint this poor old donkey with such a sad, sad This is sad one, uh, no understand the reason that these young people are so melancholic. No understand. No. Because my cells believe, contrary, that the modern atomic age is very gay. Mm. No, nothing is more gay than the collision and explosion of intra-atomic conflicts of nuclear physics. It's as you feel that that really livens things up enormously. Uh, for me, is the more happy thing is look at these terrific conflicts about electrons and pinnesons and atoms. Mm. Is everything jumping and rumping in a completely extraordinary eurythmic feeling? Mm. Yes, I see what you mean. Myself is every day is more gay. Mm. Uh, around me, look everybody every day more sad, more depressing and more physical and moral exhaustation. Mm -hmm. Do you find that true in New York as well as here in poor old Europe? No. New York, in this moment, offer one very big quantity of abstract mm -hmm. painters. Myself no uh, like it abstract painting because I believe it's only one part of, it's one decorative art, but these paintings of New York is plenty of vitality. And on the whole, rather... Enormous vitality, uh, completely uh, explosive. Would you still call yourself a surrealist as a painter? You were originally, you belonged to the school yes. of surrealism you know, I believe, uh, Myself believe that now, myself uh, is the only surrealist continue this kind of inspiration. You are, in fact, the sole survivor of the surrealist movement, Charlie. Yes, I think the difference is myself like it. Incorporate and sublimate the first experience of my life in the big classical tradition of Spanish painters. Mm. The, the bottom of my inspiration remain completely delirant and surrealistic. Mm. But the school, as a school, you feel, has rather gone out of existence. The school has disappeared because uh, becoming one academic school, mm. I think, not personally. Yeah. It also collapsed in this kind of sadness and melancholy of the other kind of modern schools. I see. So that really you feel that, that surrealism, having started when you were with it as very gay, has now sunk into melancholy and despair and that you alone remain as a true representative of it. Absolutely true. Now, all your wonderful jokes that we know about taxi cabs with the rain inside and so on, you're going to go on with those jokes? Uh, yeah, this corresponds to the first period of my life. Uh, the moment of myself is very big interest in uh, psychoanalysis, uh, coming in London for mid doctor Freud. Mm. 
Mais now, my interest is only about the tremendous progress of nuclear research and nuclear physics. And so really, those, that represented a phase in your career, those jokes that we all knew about. And now you move on, and all your life will be to the rhythm of atomic explosion. Exactly. One new kind of uh, atomic and nuclear mysticism. Well, thank you very much. That's a fascinating phrase, nuclear mysticism.